All right, it's time for the Decade Duels, and the randomly chosen year that we got out of the 20s was 1925. Uh, so the AL MVP that year was Roger Peckinpah. He's, that's one of the, that's a great name. That's a screwball name Peckinpah. for another team. <laughs> He's a shortstop for the Washington Senators. Uh, Washington won the division that year. Um, they ended up losing in the World Series. But uh, this is one of the more controversial uh, MVPs that I've, I've, I've come across and have noticed. Because this guy, Roger, didn't even bat 300. He was 25th at batting average, 33rd at RBIs, 41st at hits. He's not even top 10 in any of these categories. He's the only top 20 ranking he had was that he was 17th in stolen bases with 13. I mean, his war was 2.6. I know war wasn't a thing at the time, but you look at it now, he, that ranked 26 in the entire league. He wasn't even the top five on his own team in war. I mean, they only won games because they had an absolutely elite pitching staff, like Hall of Famers like Walter Johnson and Stan Kowalewski. I mean, Stan finished 12th in voting, 12th in voting, and Walter didn't even make the top 25. I mean, their numbers made Rodgers look even less valuable to his team. I mean, the, the one thing I did come out of, find out of this was that Roger also managed, apparently, he managed and played a bit during that time. So, I mean, maybe managing has nothing to do with being the MVP as a player. Right, and his competition that he ended up beating the runner up that year was Al Simmons, center fielder for the Philadelphia Athletics. The Phillies finished, or sorry, the Athletics, not the Phillies. <laughs> uh, they, they finished second. They became line. the Phillies thereafter. The fat, the fat Athletics, we'll call them, or the Athletics, whatever you want to call them. Athletics, they, they, really? They finished second. They finished second that year behind Washington. So, and the, again, the, the top at the time, the top two teams, the top team in each each league played each other in the World Series. Al Simmons, on the other hand, finished first in hits, second in runs, third in RBIs and batting average, and fourth in home runs. That He finished top five in five major offensive categories. And unlike the Red Sox of the one of, of the decade duel we did previously, I mean, his team wasn't fully stacked, uh, but he definitely was more important to his team than Roger Peckinpah. I call this foul, very foul. Uh, what do you got for the NL MVP that year? Well, the 1925 National League MVP winner uh, of that year, uh, you know, uh, to to explain it uh, better to you, it was a complete runaway for Rogers Hornsby, uh, a Hall of Famer, uh, you know, uh, in Major League Baseball throughout his in his career. Um, 1925, he had a 403 average, 39 home runs, 143 RBIs for the St. Louis Cardinals. He won the MVP that year by 73 out of 80 possible votes, and he also won the triple his second triple crown in that year. His slugging percentage was unbelievable at 756, Ooh. and uh, on base uh, plus slugging percentage of 1.245 stood actually for 76 years until oh, Barry Bonds man. broke in 2001. <laughs> um, the although the Cards uh, had a subpar year in 1925, finishing in fourth, uh, the following year. In 1926, Hornsby did not match his stellar numbers that year, uh, only hitting a 317 with 11 home runs. Although the the Cardinals won the won the World Series that year against the Yankees in seven games, it's unbelievable. Like you know, you, you beat the, you beat you beat the powerhouse Yankees yeah, uh, yeah. In, in that year of uh, of their dominance. Uh, the runner-up for the National League that year was uh, Kiki Kyler. Woohoo, uh, Kiki! Uh, yeah, like his his numbers uh, were also good, but that it was definitely no match for Rogers Hornsby. Uh, Kyler hit 357 that year with 18 home runs and 102 RBIs. Uh, he led the leagues. Uh, he he led, led the league in triples with 26. He also led the league in games played with 153 games, uh, 701 plate appearances. 144 runs and 13 hit by a pitches. Can you believe that getting oh, fiend by those dirty baseballs uh, <laughs> back in the 1920s? Maybe they, they didn't like baseballs. his name. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, well, although his team uh, won uh, the the World Series that year, the Pittsburgh Pirates. Um, uh, unbelievable year for for the Pirates uh, in in that year. Um, as you know, the 1920s was the birth of the live ball era where the rise of offensive stats began to rise and flourish around Major League Baseball. And Hornsby, uh, you know, a runaway a winner of that MVP award, really took advantage of that. 
And, uh, you know, it was one of his greatest seasons of his career. And, and sure enough, he became a Hall of Famer, um, easily beating out that Kyler in that, uh, that year with the MVP. Yeah, for sure. At least that was a duel, unlike the AL MVPs that year. So <laughs> I'd like to leave on that for the record books. I still can't <laughs> believe that. But Roger Hornsby, definitely worthy. I mean, you got to you gotta beat out a guy named Kiki. I mean, that's probably why they were beating him. Nobody wanted to get beat by uh, Kiki. Oh, you hit a home run for let a guy named Kiki beat you? <laughs> oh, you Sounds know. like a Hawaiian name, too. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you don't want to get a Kiki in the balls from him. So. <laughs> oh, absolutely. He, he got Kiki in the balls and, 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 and <laughs> you know, the the all, the uh, MVP honors that year. But yeah, he, so he that came is. close. <laughs> Although his team won the World Series, so he should be happy with that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your comments below.